Hello YouTube, this is Philip 20 again, and what we've got here for you today is a field piece essential clamp meter. This right here is a heat pump technician's dream come true. It's designed to uh, find out the inrush amps, temperature, micro amp DC current, not uh, not full amp DC. You'll be looking at micro amps for thermocouples, etc., etc. Duty cycle, which is pretty uh, interesting. It's also got a flashlight on the jaw where you uh, attach your clamp meter, which is pretty cool. It's, that's something I've never seen on a meter before. Uh, it's got a thermocouple. It's a, take, a K type, and it's electrical testing for HVACR, basically. And it's got true RMS readings through the clamp or the test leads in rush current for starting amps. For instance, lock rotor amps. That what it says right there. In rush current for starting amps. And you know what? I love it. Uh, it's got a really strong display. Uh, it does capacitors, micro uh, amp DC. It's got a magnetic hanger. And uh, it's got a thermocouple that's highly accurate. Uh, basically, let's uh, enjoy it. Let's open it up. So, I really, I don't think I got this for heating and air conditioning. Uh, here's the model and serial number. Um, and then we got uh, the installation instruction manual and you know here's a little thing that they want you to buy more shit I mean, who doesn't want all this stuff I mean I do uh, let's, we got this uh, instruction manual you know blah 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 this one you can add attachment to it uh, most of the you know past five years you can add attachments to it. Let's go ahead and pull everything out. We got this thermocouple and alligator test leads. God I love these things. Alligator test leads. Yep. 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 So, let's take a look at the meter itself. Oh, look at that, it's got a flashlight. So, when you're in the dark, and you're trying to clamp onto that wire you can't see, well, you can see it now, because it's shining at you. Uh, your test leads is, uh, you know, your standard two and a half, three foot test, it's probably about two foot test leads. Not that long, long enough. Um, the really cool thing about this, it's got a magnet. Uh, let's see if this is, yeah. I don't know if I'll find anything close by that's magnetic, but it's a magnet. It feels like it's really strong right there, but it's supposed to hang on to your unit on the. That way you can test your system from the unit. Um, also, it's got these settings. It's of course got off. It's got off. And then it's got continuity. You can check continuity through uh, ohms. And Then you can check your uh, connection, direct connection, continuity. And then uh, test the uh, voltage offset. Microfarad MFD. Uh, microfarad, this, this one does up to 5,000. This also does non-contact voltage. And basically, uh,
it's going to go crazy when you put it on uh, something with electricity. I mean, it'll even find electricity on your skin because of the static electricity, electromagnetic field is what basically what it's finding. And then Fahrenheit and Celsius. And this is where I think the drawback is. I think this sucks for this meter. You have to take these two test leads out in order to ins insert the thermocouple because there's a switch that prevents you from inserting the thermocouple. Now what's really cool about this is it's got a light and it's got a large display. It shows Fahrenheit and Celsius currently. I'm in the basement, 72 degrees, haven't run air conditioning none. Uh, it's 22 degrees Celsius, which I mean you'll find that fairly pleasant to be in. Um, and if I wanted to go to this guy's house and I needed to take a measurement, I take the measurement with the thermocouple. Here's the, the part, the tip is this piece right here. This is the, the tip and that's what gets hot and cold. And let's say I want to move around, I can get a different temperature. Um, the only thing is, is I have to have this switch. I hate this switch right here. You see this switch here? This switch. If you can see these two holes, they're not blocked. And then they become blocked when I flip this switch to the left. That sucks pretty bad. Let me see if I can focus better for you. You see how it blocks the two test lead holes right there? And then it blocks these two test leads whenever you flip it to temperature. I think that sucks really bad. So, what do you do? But since that's like that, I probably won't make this my heating and air conditioning tool i'll show you the reason why i'm going to use it as my home tool this actually has alternating current voltage so we got alternating current voltage we got alternating current voltage and alternating current amps and we also got alternating current voltage and alternating current frequency the hertz so let's test and see how the frequency works we take our tool that we've used before insert it into this device and since these test leads have these covers, I'm going to take these covers off so that it fits completely inside of our test tool. So I'm not actually seeing an H uh, hertz out of it. I'm not sure why. I'll have to read the instruction manual. I, like I said, I just got this meter here specifically. So apparently I can change the range dramatically. So that means it's out of range. That one means it's out of range. Again. All right, now we're running at 115.9. This is the uh, pure sine wave inverter. And I still don't understand why the Hertz isn't activated, which I'm not gonna look in exactly why it's not working. 
and then we can go over here to VDC. So it says we got 2.3 volts DC. And we can select range. And then it'll put, say we zero point something. The range is, uh, moves the, the precision. Now we got uh, basically 265, negative 265 millivolts DC. And all right, okay. Now this is the Hertz percentage. 98% over 59.8 Hertz. I'm not exactly sure what the 49% means, but 49.8, I think I said 98, my apologies, but it's 49.8% over 59.8 Hertz. And then, you know, I could go back and say, hey, I got that now. So, and what's cool about this, it gives you a flashing light and a beep in case if uh, there's electricity. Now, inrush, I don't know if you can see that right there, inrush, this button here, is to find out the load, the high load of something. So, I can find out how much amp is coming through a compressor by holding this button down during an amp test. Let's see if we can do an inrush right here. I'll have to study up on the instruction manual. But that is this field piece multi test tool. I love field piece. I intend on getting a different meter that is voltage alternating current DC. Um, this is really good for quite a bit of different applications. It'll work up to 5,000 microfarads, which uh, doesn't hold a lot of energy. It's just, you know, really good for having uh, HVAC testing. Um, so, what do you guys think about this meter? Let me know in the comments section below. Like, subscribe, and comment for other HVAC uh, devices and tools and let me know if you like this type of video if you don't my apologies but I'm really big on playing with electricity on a regular basis and if you need any kind of electrical components trust field piece they're very durable and reliable I've had the one that I've got in my truck now for the past 10 years and I am really rough on everything I got. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment. Check me out. I'm coming up on YouTube. And you better watch out. Phil 20 with Guns, Games, and Racing. And I'll holler at y'all later.